Can you do that noise? Woo! Woo! Yeah, that one. Ah, I would love to, to be able to. Do, I can't do that. Uh, My no. voice box does not allow for me to make that woo noise throughout the end. I would, I would make that noise. The, the nature, <laughs> the, the nature boy thing. The nature boy. <laughs> I know, huh? Uh, uh, what's his name? Nature boy. Um, Rick Flair. Rick Flair, Rick Flair. Thank you so much. How are you doing, folks? It's another edition of Yindor's Walkat Chat with my boy. Chain train, chain train. Folks, I hope folks are listening. Do you have any folks you invited? Who are these folks? I have. Uh, I got somebody in the in the lobby picking his nose right now that I could bring on, but I won't surprise him in the case he's going. <laughs> uh, self. What's that? Self Arthur Arthur Pregic. What is it? Arthur Spectic surgery or whatever with his finger <laughs> probably probably well we are a uh taft high alumni wildcat chat reunion broadcast that's a long drawn out way of putting it but we are here to reconnect and have some fun and guess what shane i have better lighting this week how you like that so i'm not in the dark hey. i rewatched the last uh the last show um with uh, uh mr napier and i was like man i was in the dark the whole time didn't know what <laughs> Didn't notice I was like way back, but my uh, my lighting works today. So there you go. Like witness protection or something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah, uh, what's been going on with you, Shane? It's funny. Me and you have been like going back and forth. Like, okay, let's talk tonight, and then it gets too late. Shane's on the East Coast, and he's ahead of schedule, uh, three hours ahead, and I, we keep on missing each other. But here we are now. Yeah, not a lot. Just living. How exciting. Uh, daily life uh, just parenting adulting it's a uh, easy get one sunday today uh not much just a little bit of day drunk go to the community pool watch the little guy swim around you know that kind of thing yeah, <laughs> yeah, stuff. Know, laundry and then had a had a had a nap because i'm old just to power up for this uh this hey phenomenon. don't underestimate don't underestimate the power of the siesta because uh, for myself, not everybody can do it. And if you can do it, take advantage of it. Because some people can lay there and go, I can't see how you, either I sleep or I don't sleep. But to be able to crash for 20, 30 minutes or even 45 to an hour or whatever, it just feels like it's a brand new day. Oh, I could uh, I could power nap. I, I could sleep on demand if I have to. If I got to grab, oh, I got 10 minutes and, and pop up without an alarm. You know, it's kind of like an internal thing if I need to need the rest. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, uh, I don't want to put these guys to sleep that are hanging out in the lobby. And uh, I just want to go ahead and bring them on board. We have, as opposed to having a big Watts, he's back, folks. Little Watts. Little Watts. You're not big Watts anymore. You're little Watts now? You have little Watts now. Or you've been shrinking. That's right. <laughs> How you doing, man? thing that hangs right here like an old man. Yeah. You're trying to polish it up. You just grow some hair there, and it just shades it. Just get it pierced. Get it pierced. That's a good idea. <laughs> pierced. Yeah, How you doing, Watts? Yeah. How you doing? Being yeah, red, a little bit. Nice. It What's has you, man. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No. <laughs> See, I've always associated you with energy because, like, the name Watts, you think of, like, light and energy with the light bulb, you know. It's just automatically you're charged up. You know, this guy, he's, he's a ball of energy, like, like 1,000 watts, a watt bulb. But, uh, I don't think so anymore. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> yeah. you, you got some headroom on your side there, Watts. We can barely see your head anymore. Can, can you tilt a little bit? Tilt. You see me at all? There you go. Huh? Oh, you're trying to avoid your throat. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just freaking... I kick the seat back a little bit more. You know, recliner. He's on low wattage tonight. Come on, Rod. Go easy. Low, low wattage. I hear you. Hey, uh, we do have uh, one other person I'm going to bring on board just because it's been a while. And, you know, the president's really busy of the ESB class, Brendan Smith. But he's here now. Be dog. What's up, brother? How are you, What's man? What's happening, everybody? Doing good. 
I stayed up. I stayed up late tonight just so I can hang out with you guys. Yes. It's seven thirty. Yeah, I know. I go to bed like at eight o'clock. So. I love it, man. (laughs) I like your bird arrangement in the background. The the what arrangement? Your bird arrangement. I see a couple of birds. Maybe maybe egrets of some sort. Kind of nice. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to connect my my AirPods to my uh, the computer here, but I don't know. We can hear you, all right. We hear you. We'll we'll bring in the other couple of people that we have in the lounge in just a moment. I think it's like catch up. out of everybody else in the house. They're in the lounge, just hanging out. Hey, I got them to work now. It's just like the, the old guy technology edition of. Uh, <laughs> he's like, hey man, how did I get this to work? I yeah, I, got, I actually Rod figured had it out. <laughs> All right. Yes. So, uh, does anybody? I was going to do some research on it. Does anybody know what's the latest on the oil Dorado thing? Is there any uh, any updates on anything, or is any, everything just like good to go? Is there any oil Dorado stories or situations? I, I have no idea. None I know what's coming up. I know what's coming up. True, why I'm asking. I mean, they have an old Dorado page on Facebook. Yeah. As far as I know, everything's still going forward. I haven't heard any cancellations about it or anything. Yep. My beard is uh, not going to make it, folks. I know. I know. I, I fooled you on my advertisement for tonight with my beard, but it's not really me. It's not really me. <laughs> you think maybe they'll have a a, a, a huskal? That's quite larger, so they could have proper distancing. It may be extra segmented pieces, and so, you know, so they're not all in one one group. Uh, yeah, no, that, I don't. I don't think that'll happen. It's Taft. Not Taft. No, not, not Taft. Well, hey, I'm gonna grab a couple more people to be on board, and we're gonna have a nice little chat. This guy hasn't been on for a while. And uh, I remember the first about 12 episodes we had of him trying to get on. Internet was always going up and down, going south. And I think Shane already knows who, the, who this is. Oh, and I, I, I wonder what he would look like with a beard. What? Craig, I, wish I, I wish I could grow a, grow a beard. I like grow this little Fu Manchu thing that comes down about like right here, and that's it. A little, <laughs> little goat, and that's about it. What's up, Watts? What's up, Brandon? Shane? What's Lord, up, Lord? Copy. How you guys doing? Good, good. Man. good, good. It's been a while since I've been on, what, a couple months at least. Is it be still baseball season? I don't even know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All You're star here? All You're star still here? Just, oh, yeah. All-star yeah, all-star game just um, happened recently, so. Oh, okay. All it's right. always that's the, that's the halfway baseball moment. season. Yeah. I, yeah, I thought we'd miss you the whole season of baseball, but here we are. There's a couple things that happened to my favorite team, and they're not doing too good now, so I might be around a little more. <laughs> there you go and uh balance out the uh testosterone in the group Toy, oh, uh, Toya. Toya. see how everything just got balanced just then Toya? see how everything just went oh okay now we're here she's basically one of us anyway right she's she's like the third how you doing she's put all up right. with all our crap over the years so. all right everybody put on pants yeah, yeah. don't worry about it Damn it. All right. It's all right. Gub, I've, I've, Gub, I've seen it, so it's good. We're fine. What have you yeah. seen? See what? Who? Oh, what? Gub used to pull his pants down all the time. Oh. That's you know, this, hey, this, whoa, one's, hey, whoa, whoa. this one's the public show, <laughs> not the wait, private wait. show. So. I thought that was next hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a secret. <laughs> yeah, we'll go into detail. I mean, I, this is what I'm coming back to? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, you're funny. What's going on, Toya? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just enjoying my Sunday. It's Kelly's birthday, nice. right? Yeah. Uh, we went and had brunch this morning oh, with Leslie. Shoot. So, yeah, it was nice. fun time. Yeah. I, I was trying to blow them up to come on tonight, and I think they shined yeah. me. Well, you know, That's Kelly's right. really busy. Her oldest is um, heading to Old Miss in a couple weeks. So What? Yeah, so Peyton is going to Old Miss, oh and so we're getting ready for her grad her graduation slash going away party and all that. So Kelly's got a lot on her plate right now. Wow. Gotcha. Yeah. No timeouts. No timeouts. No. Keep the <laughs> yeah, they've got a lot to do in the next couple of weeks before she's going. She's also going to be doing like pledging for sororities and all that. So it's yeah. Let me, cool. let me let me remind the you folks that if you're on Facebook, your home view. 
your home open for um, uh, public viewing. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Kelly is, bam! <laughs> Kelly and Vic. What's up, Phil? How you doing, sir? He can't answer me, but miss you guys. Miss both of them, man. If, if you don't want a picture of yourself on the show, then you might want to take it down from Facebook. So, <laughs> or or don't have Rodney send it to him, <laughs> or don't yeah, have me send it to Rod. or send me, or send me yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a uh, uh, Chad Sampson that was going to come on, but maybe he's got some technical difficulties. Oh, it's no. been a while, so we'll see. Who's he? This dude, remember him? Oh my gosh, he hasn't aged a bit. Congratulations, last going away party and all that. Yeah. Kelly's got a lot of her plate right now. Fresh cut. Right. Yeah. No timeouts. No timeouts. No. Going away party and all that. Kelly's got a lot of plate right now. Shane, are you here when I'm here? Yeah. What is that? I just that? turned something around there. No. Going away party and all that. Kelly's got a lot of plate right now. Shane, we're just went through we're the twilight. Back in time. Are we going through it? We're back in time. <laughs> back in the future. What is that? Uh, it's a conversation. Right, we <laughs> Where's Doc? Call it. Where's Doc? Who knows? Uh, Where's Doc? Where's Doc? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's Doc? Where's Doc? Where's Doc? Back in the future. Where's Doc? I'm going to lose my mind if I hear that. <laughs> what the heck was that? Roddy was doing subliminal stuff to us there. Wait, I think it went away. I was trying to see who it was, who it was coming from. That was, was you weird. Asked? Yeah. Was it, what were we doing? Did you do that on purpose? I think we just went oh. through a time warp. Well, no, we but back I'm to on the future. called StreamYard, and you said something about being on Facebook, so I went back to Facebook. Oh, oh. oh. See? Yeah. So I apologize. You crossed it up. <laughs> that was interesting, though. I swear it was like Back to the Future. Like, <laughs> you kept hearing oh, a lot on her guys. plate, a lot on her plate, a lot on her plate. I'm going to like have a plate of nightmares tonight. I was like, are you guys hearing these same her. voices that I'm hearing? Because I'm hearing voices all of a sudden. <laughs> I hear a lot of voices. Yes, you do. Wait. Well, <laughs> we have a. Uh, I wrote this down, folks, just so you know. Birthday shout outs. Oh, nice. Chuck Bishop had a birthday a couple days Chuck, ago. Yeah, really? Hey, Chuck Bishop, uh, Danny Gonzalez, uh, as well, Kelly Volox today, and Mr. Marvin Fuller's tomorrow. And I just thought I would. No, Marvin's today. That. Marvin, is it today? No, Maybe I'm wrong. Tomorrow. Yeah. It's tomorrow. The party oh, was today. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. The birthday's tomorrow. Boom. Yeah. Thanks for the back. Dumbass. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you jackass. <laughs> jackass. Toy is like the regular. There he is. Marvin Fuller. Marvin Fuller. The lady. And there's his man. wife. There he is. What's up, Lisa? Anyway, there you go. I'm up to speed on my photos, folks. How do you like that? Good job. <laughs> hey, no, ba hey. no, no bandage tonight. No. Nope. no. No. How's he speak? doing? How's he feeling? He's doing a lot better. He was. He's scared. It scared the hell out of me. So. Um, but he's doing back here now in Bakersfield and waiting for to see when he can have surgery. So. He has to so, let what, certain what was, levels. What was the situation again? It was his gallbladder. They thought originally they thought he had stones in it, and then, um, and then they were thinking it might be his liver too, but then um, I can't and. His wife Ann sent us a text message that, like certain levels of something had to be down to like one, and his was at, like at seven, and then it got down to five. So I think it's still they're still waiting for that to get down, and they're going to do the surgery after that. So I still don't know exactly if it's the gallbladder or if it's um, the liver. So so that's the last I heard. So but they they said to go home. They rescheduled for, for yeah. an appointment to go as an actual surgery. He said. Before? Yeah, that's what he's waiting for. Yeah. I text oh. him every day about the shit out. I'm like, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? So here's here's the man. I'm sure he'll appreciate this. Here's the best look of Bandy in the uh, hospital there. Here's a better picture. Here's a better picture for backup. And you even actually have Kelly V in the shot. What? Hey, who's photo bombing? Who's that guy? Who's that? Guy? Shut up. Yeah, he that's said he was in the hospital. He was in the hospital for five days and he said it just drove him nuts. He was just so happy to get back home, too. And the worst part is they were on vacation when all this happened. So yeah. he said it was the worst pain he's ever felt. And I think he um, said he had to go to the hospital twice or something like that. Or call the ambulance twice. But 
But yeah, he's, he's all, feeling a lot his better. His football players, his football team is going to like, let's win this for the Gipper. They're going to go yeah, take yeah, yeah. now. For the Ben Duke. Coach ain't good. Let's do it for the Gipper. Yeah, one of his uh, receivers coach, um, I text him, uh, Matt Bushnell, and he's like, he goes, I've just been trying to, because he has his own stuff with school and everything, younger guy. He's a receivers coach, and um, he's been trying to help out Manny with everything since he was gone. And so there's, yeah, he's doing better, but like I said, still, still scary. Yeah. I mean, I I still, life is not a fun life. No, I mean, I haven't, sat, I haven't sat there and just like had tears in my eyes in a long time. So it was. It was tough, so I'm glad he's doing you know a little better. So he's on the upside of this now, right? He's he's recovering. Get, get well, better. he's he's feeling a lot better. He doesn't have the pain right now, but I think there's still more tests they need to do and see exactly what it is and what's going on. So, but, well, good. Uh, well, I'm glad you're here to give us the the four one one because yeah. I was hoping he was going to come on to uh, let us know what's going on with him. I'm yeah. sure he. He's not probably up for doing very much right now. <laughs> no. He's, he said he took his kids somewhere, somewhere I think to the outlet somewhere, so I didn't think he's going to be back. So, Gotcha. Hang around, folks. Maybe he'll be here for the private one, huh? He might get here in time. <laughs> so let me just get this straight, Rod. You were drinking Yo. this big shake. It was green. It looked like you just you did, you did mowed the lawn and put it into a milkshake, right? There's no laugh. <laughs> And then and now he's drinking a Coke. Like how? How? No, no, how, it's not Coke. This is a uh, coffee. This you're gonna end up morning. like Mandy, man. And, but the, but the, how no, this is coffee. It's, it's coffee. It's a leftover, and I don't like to waste coffee because because that's just not right. <laughs> how many of you guys you drink coffee? It. You all you guys drink coffee once yeah. in a while, weekends. I I, I I never liked the taste of it. I could never do it. Even like the mocha, whatever. I, 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 I got to whisk never... it up with like creamer and crap. Uh, yeah. yeah. Strong black coffee. Mm. See, I knew that one. All right. I, I, I <laughs> that. He's like, yeah. I can drink. I can drink a pot and go to sleep. Oh my <laughs> nice. <laughs> my grandpa was the same way. Man. Yeah, I have to have it in the morning. Grandpa used to just pour hot water in a gym sock. <laughs> yeah. I have my. Uh, <laughs> Just like tea. Let That's how you drink it out in combat and foxhole. What's going on, BD? You have a lot on your mind. I could tell your mind's racing. What's going on, What's going on in that skull? I'm, and I'm <laughs> mind's shutting down. I'm slowly <laughs> shutting down. Oh, is that what it is? Eight o'clock is my bedtime. So I, oh, I'm sorry. So you're falling asleep. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on my mind. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I see a coffee machine behind you, though. Look at that. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I drink that, then I won't get any sleep. So. <laughs> Eight o'clock is pretty early. Uh, we yeah. are um, in our forties. You know what's crazy? And, yeah. and? Um, <laughs> I literally go to sleep eight hours after you, Brandon. Is that crazy? I usually go to sleep about four. That's that's when I get up. Yep. At, at four. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Which is why I go to bed at eight. <laughs> yeah. All right. With me being on East Coast time, I'm seeing Rod post crap as I'm driving to work. I'm like, Yeah. What is he doing? Like, see, he vouched for me because I'm like going to get ready to crash. All right, I'm going to crash you're, now. I'm like, You're what? waking up. So it's I've good time been to get crashed. <laughs> yeah. I usually wake up around 11 or so, Rodney. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, uh. Um, to be honest with you, I've been getting my sleep, so I've been getting up about noon or one. Nah, he's uh, like, he, he's like, you seen that movie? What was it? Uh, uh, Floyd on the couch. What was that movie? Uh, the Quentin Tarantino movie. I don't know. <laughs> you remember Floyd? Floyd? Brad Pitt played that character Floyd on uh, True Romance. Remember the roommate Floyd? Did you ever see True Romance? No. Oh. All right, Sorry. we'll Google it later. You'll you'll get a laugh. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, so, Floyd. YouTube's a clip. <laughs> so, Rod, why is it that you don't sleep at night? Uh, well, I I, I caregive for uh, Rachel, and her circadian clock is off, and so I do a lot of like cooking and. You know, it's almost like waiting on a table sort of thing with her, you know, to make sure that she's getting her nutrition in and she'll eat for a good three hours and she doesn't eat till late at night. Uh, but, you know, it's been a struggle to kind of flip the script on the timing of uh, eating and crashing and it's a long story. But um, 
Yeah, it's an it's unfortunate. But I man, I've been getting my sleep though, so that's good. Do you like being a night owl better? I would rather go to sleep at like eleven. That would be my idea. But you know, it's my job as a caregiver slash husband. <laughs> nice. I've always been a night owl. I'll stay up till midnight, one o'clock. I'll get up in the morning and go to work. No big deal. Oh, I did the uh, fitness boot camp for 10 years straight, 5, 15 a.m. boot camp of setting up and instructing people uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for 10 years. What are we watching here? That's Floyd. Oh. He's on the couch. He don't sleep ever. He just gets high all day. Look at him. There you go. Uh, I, think that, I think I know a lot about that guy. I'm like, what are you watching, Shane? <laughs> that was just a clip. Well, I'm like, that's supposed to be on the private one. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So what else is going down with everybody? I, uh, actually, I went uh, cut for about three weeks ago. I went to an Angels, <clears throat> excuse me, Angels game with Bandy and a couple other guys. And you guys know me that I'm very much an introvert now and don't get out much and hardly do anything. Or hardly ever get on here anymore, obviously. So, yeah. And then uh, the following weekend, went to San Francisco with a couple other buddies, uh, Friday through Sunday, and it was exactly what I needed. I mean, went to a couple of Giants games and just to get out of town. And that's when it came back when it was 113, 114, whatever it was. And <laughs> so that was a little brutal coming back to it. But the the big but, question, big question, Gup, did you get a chance to lie on the dugout after the game? That and was the. Did you get some shots of that? <laughs> that picture was uh, me and Bandy a long time ago. We went to Angels and Rangers game. I got to find uh, it now. So you're right. wait, wait, wait. so you're an introvert a lot now. Why you keep to yourself? Wait, oh what's my your, God. What's yeah, your apartment? I, no, no. What's your apartment number? Two o. I don't know if I want to tell you. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say two o. All the neighbors. Say, he almost started to though. All the neighbors are like, that guy in 207. You know, yep. saw, he always keeps to himself. I don't see him much. And he's going to start making him wonder, you know, if something ever goes down, the news shows up. You know, he was always a quiet guy. He kept to himself. There it is. That, <laughs> that's the pick, folks. He's, he's building a bomb up there or something. <laughs> Bandy had a Blackberry phone at the time. He's like, jump on the dugout and, you know, post. I'm like, okay. What did they do? Did they, did they kick you off? Did they say no, you they're like, get off the dugout? Like, okay, oh. we're going. <laughs> get down. And then we tried to recreate it. Hey, what's that guy up there rubbing his nipples for? <laughs> we tried to recreate it. I didn't get on the dugout. One of my other buddies did. Um, and uh, they kind of grabbed him and kind of escorted him out a little bit. So, But I set the trend. Okay. There you was go. that before, <laughs> the, before the game or after the game? Oh, it was after the game. Yeah, it was when – yeah. There's I'm no way I would have done it during the game. Or... Up. I don't care what his name is. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, come here, Albert Pujols. <laughs> I remember uh, I remember back in the day when we used to call the radio station, and oh uh, you called the radio station, and you're, they're going to say, this one goes out to Gup, and he goes, what's a Gup? Do you remember yeah. that? He was like, what the hell is a Gup? It was the DJ yeah, on the but radio. We used to prank call Toya and so many other people, too. We'd sit there and go through the phone book. We're like, oh, here's a good name. Let's call them. The aquatic like, dedication hour. We're going to dedicate this to a fish. So yeah. goes out to Carmen. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about, Toya. I was innocent. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. That's why uh, I have my own phone line, so I didn't bother my family. <laughs> <laughs> they knew. They're like, you're damn friends. <laughs> That's funny. That or I was always on the phone late at night talking to people yeah. until Ooh, early gotta, morning hours. All right, it's so time for a blast for the past photo real quick, y'all. Here we go. What? Oh, yeah. This Can you name who's in this shot? I see. This, is a, this is a Mexico trip. Yep. I think this was 94, 93 or 94. Like I that. think it was 93. So we got Bam yeah. Willows in the front. We got Art Cabral, Sean McCormick, uh, Spencer Aiken, Bandy, Letitia, me, Missy, Kelly, Angelina. Okay. Kelly V. Uh, Robbie. Like, it's like Saved by the Robbie Bell, the Bobby. second generation. <laughs> the hair, 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 hair. It was a good, we used to, um, when we were at Taft College, we'd go down to um, Bandy's parents. They had a house down in Mexico, and they uh, built houses for retired folks. And it was only about 10 or 15 minutes away from, um, what was that? I can't remember the little Rosarita town. Was, yeah, Rosarito Beach, yeah. So we just go down there, pay the toll, and go to the bars and 
drive back and uh, see the water in that house. That's what messed up his bladder. His- you know, you know what's funny? <laughs> the first time I went down there was right after we graduated. You had the shits, didn't you? No, it was <laughs> right after we graduated, and my, it was my parents at the time. Um, Lori and my dad were on the outs. Lori Watson, and um, so we didn't have Christmas that year. So Bane's like, "You want to come down with me?" And I was like, "Yeah." And I didn't know anything about the water. So I'm drinking out of the faucet like two and a half, two weeks. And Manny's mom, Carolyn, goes, "Are you drinking out of the faucet?" I'm like, "Yeah." And she goes, "And she goes, are you? Have you been, you know, crap?" And I'm like, "No, I'm, I'm okay." So it didn't, it didn't affect me at all. He's like a Billy goat. He got a stomach of steel, <laughs> which is crazy. But yeah. It's, that's yeah. I had no idea how it didn't just knock me. You know. Don't, don't you guys remember remember uh, the uh, taste of the uh, uh, water coming out of the water hose? The rubbery oh, yeah. flavor wasn't it great? The hot watery flavor, you know. Yeah, you, you got to let it run for a minute to get it somewhat kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. it start off all hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ah. Making the and you put your finger on the end of it, and you chase your sister around. I like my yard. water with a hint of metallic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kids nowadays don't know anything about that. Yeah. Uh, question: Does anybody have anything crazy that they did in the uh, growing up as a kid that they don't do now? Pretty improvised, much everything. Improvised <laughs> games. Uh, got it out. Of water hoses. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Clint, Clint, Clint can attest because he was probably with me for some of them. <laughs> I was I was team captain in the dirt clod fights back when I was eight years old. Yes, BB gun wars. BB gun, gun wars. Yeah. Great grapefruit fights. Those hurt when they get. Make yeah, contact. oranges. Yeah, oranges are grapefruits. Yeah, pomegranates. Those, yeah. those uh those little balls uh, that have the spikes all over them. You guys remember those mulberry? Were they? Oh were those, yeah, were those yeah. off the mulberry tree? No, 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 no. They're um, I know you're talking about, but no, they're not mulberries. Oh, come on, tell me that. Um, <laughs> come come up with a good name for it. Like the opposite of uh, mulberry tree. Mulberries had the little mulberries had the little tiny like yellow little berry looking things on them. No, and, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have a double yeah. ball or a uh, hard I think I remember what you're talking about, Brandon. Yeah. I shoplifted TGNY. Oh, God. Uh, I, I, I was shoplifting a lot when I was Drove a, a few times after drinking. I started. Sorry, B. Now you're here. Uh, and then. Uh, <laughs> you drove a few times after drinking? A few times? <laughs> yeah, he's only he's only partially being honest. Well, honest. Uh, Unprotected sex. What else you want to know? I don't. <laughs> I mean, the list goes on. I mean, we, we learn. I mean, we're lucky we had guardian angels. I mean, yeah, I agree. Laying on dog house without permission, cup. I mean, come on. <laughs> I, I, there's been so many times over the years I drove drunk and then. One of my good friends, not going to name him, but he got a DUI. And after that, I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, he's the best drunk driver I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, and then right around that time was when Uber started coming out. And I was like, okay, it's time. No matter what, if I know I'm going to drink, don't even chance it anymore. So, right. Uh, it's just too not worth it. But yeah. They're I so mean, exclusive. I could hurt so somebody. Yeah, I don't want to hurt anybody. You know, the sna- you know the snack bar at the basketball gym. <laughs> well, we had a which we had, basketball we had a, gym? Well, at, at Taft High, it, we had we had a profit mm-hmm. earning ring. Me, me, Slee's dog, and a couple other people at the snack. Well, we we didn't rob the school, but we had we let's just say we <laughs> raised the prices. You took your portion. <laughs> <laughs> we made our. It was like the mob. We took our cut from the field party. You're an eight dollar hot dog. <laughs> oh, wait, so two two. Do- Candy bar. Wait, that says one dollar on the menu. Well, you know that they, they, they had. That's the large candy bar, though. Yeah, that's a seven, not a one. Uh, hey, S- Steve Birch, whose father was a preacher, was in on that ring too. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. But Sleaze Dog looked like an older man, so he, he could go did. by the keg. He looked thirty as a senior. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get him on here. We've talked about him about at least eight episodes. Uh, I miss it. I miss him. <laughs> yes. um, he just walk around those Taft High shorts and them. Um, Cut off sleeves, T-shirt, and <laughs> it was a character. You know, he almost—if you think about it—he was, 
he could have come right out of like the eighties WWF right with Hulk Hogan. Like he's part of those oh, guys. Yeah. He, look, he looked like one of the wrestlers. Wow. He's kind of George the Animal Steel. Yeah. <laughs> Have any, has oh, anybody yeah. heard what, what he's up to? I know. Yeah. Really? I know a while back he was on Facebook, but I haven't heard from him in a while. So, you know those Bigfoot sightings. <laughs> and there was one up near Tashby a couple years ago. <laughs> He's walking through the woods, <laughs> throwing rocks oh, at people. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, <laughs> We're looking yeah. for sleep. Toya, so, what's that? You're, you're falling asleep. You look quiet. What's going on? It's been a long day. I started off drinking, and it's just been. Do you got your feet up? Are you in a recliner? Is this no. a true, true my couch. craft crew? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> true craft crew. Your man true should be rubbing crew. your feet right now from a long day. Two he's craft crew. Here. He's he's backpacking. Oh, All right, nice. We yeah. backpacking. Just yeah, kidding. Backpacking. <laughs> yep. He's gone, so I'm just chilling woods, on my couch. Cooking s'mores, drinking beer, <laughs> hit, hitting a little medicinal. Uh, he better not be. He's got to work. <laughs> they get <laughs> 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 No, and after after I had brunch with Kelly, I met my other friend, and I went to her with her to Pyrenees. We had a couple of drinks there. So, yeah, it's just been a – Pyrenees is nice. Yeah. That's the last time I saw you. No, I didn't. Yep. I saw you at your house. No, I saw you at your house. Oh, yeah. What about so those just, tickets? Yeah. So tell me yeah. about this Pyrenees. This is a restaurant in Bakersfield. What, what's it? Yeah. It's, it's, downtown. A Basque, it's a Basque restaurant with a bar. A lot of people go there. It's pretty popular. There you go. Yeah. Hey, I heard Nori, Noriega's open back up at a different place. Is that true? I don't I, know. I heard that too. I don't know about a new place. I know. I, I want to say um, no, it's not. Are they you, know where, you know where Luigi's is at, Shane? Uh, I, downtown, they're all kind of within a few blocks down there. A couple of old restaurants in Bakersfield, so uh, it's too, 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 too far yeah. gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the East Coast. Now. I, could, I could GPS yeah. it. In the, <laughs> you got Google Maps? Like, oh, yeah, it's there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, I think Clint froze. No, I'm just looking at oh. <laughs> He's doing the blues. Just deep, deep in thought. Yeah. <laughs> how's, uh, how's brother he's Kurt? Over, he's over how's, there. How's everybody? Uh, Clint, how's brother Kurt and everyone? How's the fam? Yeah. Last time I talked to him, they're all doing good. Yeah. yeah. Good. What's, okay. what's Kirk up to? Where's he at? He's uh, living in Bakersfield. He works for Barry Petroleum. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How long has he been, yeah, with, my how long's he been there? Oh. 25, 30 years, something like that. Wow. My dad was with that outfit years ago. Wow, they're still chucking. Yep. It was very holding when he was there, though. Right, right. Yeah. I think it was like part of a 10, 10 piece entity or whatever that somebody yep. owned. Yeah. There you go. And how's Kimmy doing there, uh, Brandon? Any more uh, uh, any more um, dialogue on the uh, relationship from back in the childhood days? Any uh, other situations to talk about? No? Any sparring matches? No. I'm just about interested. Me and, me and my sister? That was her cool stories. I like that. I know. Did you get back to that? <laughs> yeah. No, she, uh, oh, she, yeah, she, she, she made my brain spin a few times, so. <laughs> no, she's she's doing she's doing good. She just uh, was over at Morro Bay for I think a week with her son and hanging out of there camping with my mom and uh, my stepdad Shannon and um, I think my grandmother went over there as well. So um, awesome. yeah, awesome. so always always a good time when you go to the Central Coast. So is that what uh, inspired you to do wrestling? Uh, was was Kim so they can do, you can defend yourself? <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. She's the, she was the one who gave me the it. the thought, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I might be able to hold my own for a little bit. Ankle <laughs> <laughs> picker. Those were great, man. I mean, was it's true sibling when you're stories when you're kids. It was just so. <laughs> so we, we used to bad. we used to fight like crazy. I mean, really? it was yeah. I mean, in I think third fourth grade when she was she was fourth grade I think and I. I uh, chipped one of her teeth and slammed her head against the ground. And, you know, we used to fight like cats and dogs, but like we're best of friends. So 
I don't know. It worked. How many How many years older is she than you? She's almost three years older. Three years. Okay. Um, two Two years in school, but three years by age. Almost three years. So my sister Jennifer is three years younger than me, and I did the whole th this on the on the chest until it finally oh. eventually starts to. Okay, it's starting to hurt now. <laughs> Yeah, you get that knuckle. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No, I, it was, and I try to wake her up with the uh, vacuum with the hose on it. I would just walk in and wake her up that way. It was always fun. <laughs> hey, 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 Clint, at, 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 at what age did you finally able to kind of like give some competition to Kirk when you're wrestling? Like, you know, he's the older brother. He's got to like mess with you and beat you up until oh. he got bigger. Well, he quit messing with me about my year. In high school, which yeah. year? You know, about my senior year in high school. Oh, okay. And then well, when I got to college, I mean, I was two hundred and thirty pounds. He was. He started winning. getting grown. He could handle him. Yeah. <laughs> I think he always could whoop my butt, but I just never let him know that. <laughs> I was gonna say, if it was there a turning point? Uh, no, really. No. 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 I still make him think I can whoop him, but I don't know that I can. <laughs> Me and my brother never really fought. I, mean, I remember when you were younger, before my mom and dad's divorce, there was one time we were like out back and like we were just like kicking each other. All of a sudden, I ran in the house, had a tennis ball. Or no, I ran in the house and I was like, Mom, Scott's going to all of a sudden up the side of the head, a tennis ball hits me and right up with my <laughs> noggin. And I just go down crying. So. No, I thought maybe he'd get somebody to wrestle you, and he would be documenting it with his camera. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> but, I mean, for the most part, we really didn't. I think all, all the parents' divorce stuff, we just kind of laid low and stuck together. Didn't, yeah, didn't want any. Yeah. You know, there's already enough crap going on at that point. So. Is is, uh, is Scott there now? Where where was he at? Uh, he's Scott? probably about fifty feet that way. But yeah, he lives upstairs in over one apartment. So <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. But yeah, my sister, you was in the area for some reason. Yeah, it's kind of funny. The only time we really hang out is during football season. So he's, he's, not in the, he's not in the baseball like you are. Nah. So we're yeah we're so we're completely different for the most part. But every once in a while we'll hang out and we'll hang out for a few hours. He's like, all right, I'm going back upstairs. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> Catching hey, a bad badminton matches on the Olympics. Say what? <laughs> what? Catching a bad badminton matches on Olympics. You know those early stage sports. Like, how, how how's that in the Olympic sport? Bad table tennis. Come on, that's like in the basements of frat houses. That's not. A, that's not. They're not athletes. Badminton. Badminton. But yeah, we just. I don't know. We're just such different people. So. Actually, recently. Um, Never really been in basketball much. Started watching basketball a little bit this year. And never watched hockey much. Watched the hockey playoffs and kind of interesting. But other than that, you're growing. Any, any, any of you guys watch on the Olympics at all? I haven't yet. I, mean, I, I watched like swimming TV. today. It was on TV. Um, it's, it's, it's a little odd this year, but. I, yeah, I, I've, catch, I've caught some highlights on the news, or maybe maybe online on on the laptop, and I don't know. It's just it, I don't know. It doesn't have the same. It's got uh, a different vibe. Right, the same feeling. Different, different energy. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Nobody in the stands, and it's just it's bizarre. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, but Noriega's did move. Oh, oh did they did. It? Okay. They are uh, where your cafe med was. Right there by uh, oh, that's you know what? Now that you say that, someone did mention that they did reopen. A rod knows exactly the location. Cafe, Cafe Med, yeah. Cafe Med, yeah. I know, yeah. Cafe Med's like right around the corner from where I'm at. Yeah, I don't know. No I don't. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> Moby, <laughs> quit. My, my cat's pushing onto my laptop this, here. This Noriega, is like the Central like, American guy, the Noriega. <laughs> Noriega. Well, it's a family name, but oh. Yeah, it's just a it's a Basque restaurant here in town. It's actually really good. It's very good. Very yeah, it's good. really good. What does Basque like, restaurants have? <laughs> what is yeah. that? You, you have never Basque food? Food? Oh my god, Basque food is so good. <laughs> you get pickle tongue. You get corn. Sounds I mean, like you a, just you get so, wine. You just get a bunch I, of. I heard Noriega. You could get some AK-47, some cocaine. <laughs> 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 Noriega. <laughs> no, but what, what kind of food is it? 
It's, it, they changed the menu. Basque restaurants kind of originated like a long time ago where like, I don't know if it was war or whatever was going on, but they, these people would feed like groups of people. So when yeah. you go in and eat, you don't sit at individual tables. You sit at one long table. They serve everybody the same meal and you get like two entrees. And they, they sometimes it's spaghetti. They do pork chops. They do steaks. You're just they basically do passing things. it down as yeah, you get it. You're from the Pyrenees Mountains, right? Like between France and Spain or something like that. Like exactly. A, it's kind of like yeah. a Christmas or Thanksgiving Farmer's dinner. Food. But it was you're a big thing here in Bakersfield. I mean, Basque is huge here in Bakersfield. Yeah. There's several Basque restaurants oh. here in Bakersfield. Oh, you know, so food. a lot of, yeah. So that the Noriega, like their original restaurants, it was down by Pyrenees and it's been there for a long time. And they closed like what, a year and a half ago, maybe, maybe a year ago. So, so when the, the food's going by you, you just like say, okay, I want some of that. And now no, they, you going? just throw it on the table and you start passing it family style. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they yeah, do salad. You get yeah, pickled yeah, tongue. Like, I yeah, never holidays. tried it till there. Yeah, it's just it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Yeah, Give me some not, tongue. Not all of tongue. not all of the restaurants serve it family style. No, uh, I mean you like, can't. Like a lot Noriega's, of them do. Noriega's was one that was notorious. That when you come in, there's like three tables that are probably like 150 feet long. Yeah, and yeah. you sit. You might sit next to your family member, or you might sit next to a total stranger. Yeah. Um, but you're passing the wine bottle back and forth and passing the food. And um, it's I met some, I've met some super yeah. cool people, you know, that you've never, never would imagine. Um, I remember one time sitting next to a guy who had lived at, because uh, Noriega's was actually a hotel, uh, but it was low income housing is what it really was. And typically it was single men who lived there. Uh, and this guy had lived there for 40 some odd years. And every day he would eat breakfast and dinner there. Did you share oh, your tongue with him? <laughs> yeah, I certainly did. <laughs> share your tongue with him? And I made a great <laughs> new friend. The, the pick, pickled tongue. Oh, okay. uh, that makes pickled tongue. And the wine. <laughs> and the wine. And the wine. Oh. Yeah, the, the house wine's included in the meal. So I'll be right back. Yep. Let's drink plenty of that. Go get Scott. Go get him. But then they have, there's a few, I mean, I, I think it was like Chalet Basque was one of the ones that was a little bit on the fancier side. And so yeah. you, you would only sit with your family. They still serve um, like the the general stuff. So a soup and a salad right. and pickled tongue as, um, as a family style at your own table. But then the main dish you would order yourself. So you would get your own plate with whatever. Um, but I always like the the community tables and because yeah, you have to I just really meet and talk to so many different yeah. different people. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, I've only I've I was, been to, oh, I've I been to that one in Narducci's. I went to Narducci's too, and that was kind of similar. But we were the group. Yeah. But there was a lot of us there, so we were just all together. But same same thing. We did family style, but we all knew each other. Yeah. I was super bummed when I heard Noriega's closed, and then. I thought I heard that they had reopened. So thanks for confirming that. Cause yeah. I always, that was always like one of my things. If I had the time, I'd always try to go over and go to dinner there. Oh. There you go. What's the, uh, where are the, what's the, uh, are there any businesses in Taft that, um, that are restaurant, like restaurant uh, businesses in Taft that's good to eat nowadays? I haven't been there in a long time. No? Well, OT's used to be really good, good, but they've, they closed they down. down. They shut down. Yeah. yeah, you got Asian experience. That's where Guy Fieri went. He advertised it on TV. Yeah, he went and ate there on his di dinner dive and whatever that thing is. That's right, really it's yeah, and it's really it's it's okay. I we went and ate there, and I was like, eh. Hmm. I love it. It's the best damn food in the world. Uh, no. <laughs> That's from I'm the, from the really guy. weird about Chinese food. I'm very picky about Chinese food. I like the old, honestly, Ong's was my favorite Chinese restaurant. Oh, I remember Ong's. It's like, yeah. I like stuff like that. You know, I miss, in Vegas used to have some hole in the wall places that were amazing. Oh, never oh, huh? mind. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> oh, see, I like Donna. Well, oh. I like Donna too. <laughs> but Ong's restaurant, I love their food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their mom was an amazing cook. Did you see Scott down the hall? Is Scott down the hall? Hey, no, every time I get on here, remember <laughs> my cats would always freak out. They like jump on the blinds and shit. And then one of my cats just sits there and meows because I don't have any sound going on. So she's like, Who the hell are you talking to? I think she just like, 
So she just sits there and meows. She's like, what are you doing, Pops? I tell you, I got one cat, and I don't see how anyone can have any more than one cat. He's so my cat's so demanding, and like every time I walk into a room, he thinks I'm getting up for him. You oh, yeah. know what I mean? Uh, it's a drink, it's a food, it's a let me out, it's clean my litter box, um, meow. It's a lot of I don't work. know what it is, and I we found out my my cat likes to have ice in his water apparently, and uh, he doesn't drink sometimes the water unless it has a little ice in it. I go, this dog, this cat is <laughs> a little spoiled, huh? They, I know. Yeah. They're and I don't know how we found that out. Rachel goes, maybe he wants ice in his water. I go, how would you even know that? And sure enough, I put ice in his water. He's like, okay, cool. I'll have the <laughs> But then yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll put the, uh, the shovel in the litter box after he's done. Does your cat do that? He go. puts it in the litter box? Yeah. He like says, okay, it's, you're up. <laughs> oh my God, that's a yeah, smart uh, cat right there. He's like, hey, clean I, my turds. I a picture of it. Like every time, well, I pro probably like at least every other time. Uh, but I haven't even seen him do it. I just see a, a, a shovel in the litter box. How does he and get it in there? I don't know. I, I want to do a surveillance camera. He knows when I'm watching him, but he doesn't do it. I've never seen him do it, but he does it. I don't know how he does wow. it. That's he crazy. finds it and he's like, probably a positive in there or something. <laughs> That's very interesting. Yeah, That's very crazy. Good. Right when I think I get a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> we There's comment. a whole bunch. A whole bunch of comments on the Facebook thread. Oh, I see. Oh, is there? Yeah, like Kelly Hatton's on there. I haven't seen her in forever. Kelly Hatton, wow. Hi, Kelly. How you been? <laughs> Great stream tonight, guys. Good. Uh, I'm not awesome. sure. I know. Are you reading this? Okay, I'm going to put it on because I'm trying Who's to figure it out, looking too. Good-looking honky, rad gang, Peter rad North gang. here. <laughs> Oldest <laughs> dog. <laughs> Peter North. Dude, right. that's got that's got to be Franco. Is that Franco? <laughs> oh, uh, I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, jeez. I hope it is. At least I asked Franco to come on in more than one word or one way. I was having fun with Snapchat today because yeah, you had that thing with his cigar, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Show Jones. it again. Show it again, Rob. Where is it? Bring up that picture of Brother Franco. All right. Oh, oh man, I got to show you this. There's some things I could show you. Ah. Uh, I'm supposed to go hang out with him here soon. Is He's got back from the beach, I think. So. Is your hair to your ass, Rod? How long is your hair now? It's been a long time since we've seen you on the Wildcat chat. We miss you. We want to see you. We want to do it. Oh, God, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Just spread the love. We can see you tonight. I emailed you the link. And go brush my teeth now. <laughs> Wait, where, where's Frank? That that picture with the cigar. Oh, with picture with the cigar. Oh, yeah, where is it? Uh, is that Snapchat, here. Rodney? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If I get like in more than two minutes sitting by myself, I've got to do something. I I, out. Yeah, I do them too. Time on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we got two minutes. There's so much I can do in two minutes. So <laughs> I'll find it. Go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. Where are we at? Uh -huh. Talk, talk to ourselves. Talk to so are you coming out for Old Dorado? I heard that you were. Yeah, is that still happening? Old Dorado. No. Shame. Sorry. I heard you were coming out for Old Dorado. Are you still coming out? That's the word. Uh, I never said that. <laughs> I was. It'd be well, great. It'd be fun. You did last time we were on here. I don't know what tabloid <laughs> you're speaking to. <laughs> I'm sure it, it would be great. Yeah, it'd be fun. I can't afford to fly out there right now. I got too much going on. Oh, yeah, we time. talked about that. We said we're going to have a GoFundMe yeah. fund for you to uh, afford you to come out. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my um, old business could help out with, you know, linking us some. There it is. There's oh, yeah. Franco. His album cover. Where are you, Franco? <laughs> He's a hip -hop star. It looks like a hip hop album cover. Look at that. I love that guy. Where's Watts going? You remember that one? I don't know. He's like walking he was, around. He was, he was hanging out on Bandy's chair, leaning on it with his arm while Bandy's in the in the desk chair, and he's sitting there shirtless eating pizza. No. <laughs> Back in the summer. Man, I've had so much fun with Franco and Bandy over the last. I don't know, a few years just living here in Bakersfield and just doing barbecues and other get togethers and been so much fun. Not a boring moment. Yeah. <laughs> Never a boring moment with Franco's around. 
Nope. Franco. The good man. Yeah, he used to wake me up in the morning to go work out by just honking his horn like at 6.30 in the morning. My dad would go, can you have your friend stop honking the horn? <laughs> it was always the same thing. Too. I always knew it was him. Was He's like, like, just tell him to page you. you gotta get I know. Page I was like, him. text me or something. This is back in 93. Send me a message on Skype pager. Cell phone. 94. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Rachel says hi. She just walked in. Hi, Rachel. Hello, honey. Hi, Rachel. Hello, Rachel. She says I love you. Me or them? All of them. All of you. You guys. Oh. Too. <laughs> love you, Rachel. <laughs> the days of pagers, like when yours went off, you like looked cool or important. Like, hey, hey, you got a phone I can use? <laughs> right. I was so like, it was a, still a two-step process. You got the message, but then you got to go back find to the phone. The... Yep. We well, have a message within the within the. It's an emergency. Letter. They put nine one one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go. I gotta go. To, I gotta go to a payphone. <laughs> I gotta find a phone. Payphone. Yeah. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find a payphone. Hold on. My pager is blowing up. Can I go use your phone? <laughs> Check this out. Look at this. It's Rachel's hair. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that's they cool. put like these uh, black light extensions on it, and nope. um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. When you just showed it like that, it kind of looked like a jellyfish. It just kind of. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is cool jellyfish. though. Fish. Not even a filter on that one. But a jellyfish, like, I wouldn't mind getting stung by. It looks so enticing. <laughs> Come here, jellyfish. They, they look like the coolest thing ever, jellyfish. <laughs> You look like that one thing you could get from the ice cream man, that that missile thing with the the, the red, white, and blue. The oh thing. yeah, I remember. Yep, yeah, I remember that. Hey, Watts is like a floating head there, over there. There was an ice cream truck around here today. We were we were by the community pool, and this ice cream truck pulls up at the parking lot, and his whole repertoire, his whole playlist was Christmas songs, and I'm like, oh right. And I realized he was, a, he was a foreigner, but maybe he didn't know any different. But like, he, I kept you know, hearing, hearing the mute. The, yeah, seriously, the soundtrack, all the all the instrumentals. Like, here, the here comes Santa Claus and dashing through the snow. I was like, maybe he just likes, really likes Christmas. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it's so hot and humid. Maybe it just psychologically made you feel cooler. I don't know. Right. So I remember going to uh, Portugal and they were saying, oh, he's on holiday. And I was like, how many holidays do you people have? I didn't know that was like meant to vacation. Hey, the work life balance like, is way different has, in Europe. How many yeah. holidays? You just pick a holiday and you just, hey, what do you got? They have a lot more in Portugal than we do. Well, work life balance in Europe culture is way different than here. All right. Yeah. Here it's work and day they, drop, don't, you know, get overtime and die and all that. You know. yeah. And their work and for it, vacation is holiday. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Holiday. I know. Just like another holiday. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait come on. Uh, it is what it is. Oh man, holiday. We thought that was just Madonna skipping around in coveralls and black and white video. <laughs> do, you, do you guys miss videos? Yeah. On MTV. I miss it, it so it much. It depends if they're incriminating, and I'm in them. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking like on MTV, but you still you are in a couple on MTV, or at least yeah. one on MTV. koya has got this library with this, <laughs> this uh, like with with like masking tape and labels on them. Everybody, it's just if she wants to burn anybody and someone does her wrong, she's like, "Don't try me." She'll go to like <laughs> she'll go to like Inquirer. Oh yeah, Gump. Oh yeah. Don't make me break this VHS back from '89 in here. You know. <laughs> no, that's Gump. Gump has all the video. I just have all the information in my head. No, Toya's um, got the audio trash. You get this little <laughs> tiny tape. A lot I mean, of those VHSs aren't around so anymore. Yeah. They got old. Do, do you have any of them that actually do work? Recorded conversations. I have. Um, what do you have? I have our eighth grade graduation. I do do. And um, our senior year video yearbook. See that he was the video guy. She was the audio person. Did, They're working together. Did, did you ever? Did you ever move those over to like DVD? Or I have my those. Digital? Those are two I have on DVD. Actually, it's funny because when my brother was working at um, Video Memories, Steve Merrick's um, parents came in and actually brought the eighth grade graduation to have it converted, and he made a copy for me too. So, oh, right on. Can you but get it the, in real, real? 
<laughs> that was a big yeah. <laughs> but all the cool train stuff, all the high school stuff, I don't yeah, all the videotapes, they were just sitting for so long. And then once I tried to put them in a VCR well, 20 years ago, they just didn't play anymore. And no off the wall episodes? You have an yeah. off the wall episode, Shane? No. Jerks had some old ones on PHS. <laughs> Video oh, did it? It was like horrible. It's just like blurry, like you're underwater, yeah. I guess. That's what's cool. It's like a lot of that stuff's on the video yearbook. So, yep. Yeah. You get just put, a little bit of Marky on, Mark. I like yeah. that. Only a I, put little all, bit of it. I put it all on. Um, <laughs> if you go under my um, my name on Facebook, it's under videos. You got to scroll way down because it's in 12 different parts. I uploaded a long time ago if you want to watch it. So, I've seen yeah. that. There's a, a cool highlight of Wade Smith giving a. Little pitch oh. to Hernan Santiago it says, "Give it away! He give it away! He give it away he now!" So much, so much <laughs> backlash from doing that. Sorry, Wade. <laughs> Wade always gave me so much crap about that. Although I did have a name here on the show the last broadcast, and uh, he he confirmed that I out hustled Wade in baseball, but he was better. That's why he played. So at least I out hustled him. <laughs> I did. I ended up watching that. I, was, I wish I would have got on. I struck so out cool. more ways than one, and he didn't. Uh, that's why he, <laughs> he was it in was, the game. It was cool seeing <laughs> Nape on there. Yeah, it surprised me. I was like, "You really coming on?" No, you're not. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on. Uh, hey, let me ask you guys: which which teacher or teachers would you want to have on the broadcast if I were to grab grab one or two? Like I you're just, saying before, Woodson Newton. Shin. <laughs> oh, yeah, Shin. <laughs> Who'd you say, Clint? Oh, Rick Brown. Rick Brown? Larry Brown. Larry Brown. I don't think you put Larry Brown on. No? no I, don't, yeah, I don't think Larry would. Sounds like I a have, challenge. I have uh, I, Woodson, Woodson saying that he would go on if I got Newton on. And so now I'm going to say, Newton, will you go on if Woodson's on? And, I'm and gonna, then Larry. I feel like I'm dating two people or something. Huh? Would you... <laughs> I was like, "Come on, come on board!" Yeah, Shin was Mr. Shin was awesome. Was they can, a, if, if the coaches come on, they can wear all, all wear those those blue uh, for the shorts, those coach shorts when they come on. <laughs> the stadium <laughs> shirts and the the, the, side, the whistle, the, side, the whistle hanging, the socks right. up to the knees. And, yeah. <laughs> I think I had, I think I, I thought I had a picture maybe in here somewhere of it. Yeah, I just saw Emerson a couple weeks ago at my oh, niece's really? softball. He coaches my niece's softball team. Nice. Yeah. Wow. That's so funny. I know. I'm like, Mrs. I'm that you're coaching my daughter or my, my, my niece. Like, you said 16. Mrs. Judkinson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Please do. <laughs> well, what about Ellie L- L- Lindbergh? Chicka, chicka, chicka. Lindbergh. <laughs> Lambert, I wonder what he's up to nowadays. Are you changing your game out of the room? He, um, I think he lives overseas now. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that's where he's at. Or Mexico, Lamberg. I can't remember. Is he on the run? No, no, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> my my mom, my mom knew him from forever, so I kind of she talks to him, or know someone who's talked to him every once in a while. <laughs> well, folks, we're going to transition into the uh, private broadcast. It's part two. The hour. Part two. This hey, is all going to set up to go to the private one. Tell us who, who painted that painting behind you. you, got, you oh, that's my mom. Your mom painted that, see? I'm, I was going to paint today, but then I didn't get around to it. So I go, well, at least I'll show my mom's up there. Wait, where do you see it? Uh, yeah. Can I see it right? Can't see it. Well, she got you in the painting, right, Rob? She's bringing the painting into it. Yeah, she's been painting forever. I just started painting it two years ago. <laughs> I was like, I can't think of anything to give for Christmas. I go, maybe I'll just paint something. And did I'll you say you, took, you looked online and like did a couple like YouTube videos just to – Yeah, just, just to go start. to tutorials and stuff like that, and I just really started liking it. Nice. And uh, there you go. Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Ross. Like happy little trees. <laughs> you start with a little corner here. Rod, Rod Ross. There you go. He's a new age guy. I'm going to go get my afro and play paint with my afro on. 
All right, folks, it's another edition. Mr. Watts is gone. B Dog, Gup, Toya, Shane. Hope you guys jump on to the private train and we'll talk more. Do we just stay here? Or is it? Uh, there's a private link. There's a private oh, okay. link that I. Maybe it's like, on that same one that where'd I. Everybody go. <laughs> where, oh, it's on the same one? Where'd okay. everybody go? Don't Bye, leave guys. me. <laughs> Until next time, we'll be doing it again with even more. I'll see you in, a couple, spaces. in just a second, then. All right. See you guys. Love you. Bye, go. See you in a second.